Hello friends, hope you all are doing amazing. Today we will be discussing about validation transformation. Inside validation transformation, you specify certain set of rules. These rules then check your incoming source records. The records which comply to the rules that you specified in the validation transformation, they move to a specific table and the records which do not comply to the rules, they move to some other table. Let's dem demonstrate this with the help of a job. I'm creating a bad job. Let's name it as job underscore validation. I have already created a file that contains my source data. This is the validation transformation. You can check out the source data I have. Inside validation transformation, I will be specifying the rule. What this rule will do? It will check the name field. The names which are starting character as at the rate symbol, they are correct records and they will move to the past table. And the records do not have starting at the rate symbol, they are failed records and they will move to the failed table. So I'll be adding a rule name check like and the rate percentage. As you can see, since I've specified the rule on name field so it contains a checkbox or a tick mark. Now I'll be defining three tables. Why three tables? Because validation transform always generates three outputs. The correct data, the wrong data or the discrepant data and the rule violated data. We name it as pass. All the correct records will flow in pass table. The record will not comply, we will move to the fail table. The rules that you have specified in the validation transform and what are the rules that have been violated. These will, those will be present in rule violation table. Before that, let us understand what does action on fail mean. That means the records which have failed the rule, what do you want to do with those records? Whether you want to send them to fail table, whether you want to send them to pass table or whether you want to send them to both of the tables. Both the tables means send as well as pass table. Right now, I have selected send to fail. So the records or the rules which will fail my rule or which will do not comply to my rule, they will move to the fail table. So I have designed the job, done the mapping. Or oh, I will be executing this job. The job has been completed. Let us check the data. Okay. So as per my rule, all the records which have had the rate at the starting of, at the starting, they should move to my pass table. And here we have the records which do not have had the rate, they will move to my fail table. And what does rule violation contain? It will contain the rule name that has failed. Going forward. Let us understand what does send to pass means. It means if the records have failed or if the records have do not do, um, the records do not comply to the rules that I have specified, they will move to the pass table. But how will I identify what are the records that are wrong and what are the records are which are correct? So I go to the validation transform. We have an option if any rule fails and send to pass, 
substituted. So I choose the column. And expression. So, if the rule fails, I want that particular field to be named as, uh, let us say, incorrect inc. I keep it as it as inc. Now let me execute the job. Let us check the data. See, INC. Earlier it was RAJ, Raj. So this was my wrong record. So it has been replaced with the INC. Now you can easily distinguish between the correct as well as the incorrect record. The fail table will now not contain anything. It will be empty. Let me change it to send to both. So this means the records or the source data which have failed my rule or which do not comply to my rules, they will now be moved to both the tables, the fail table as well as the pass table. See, the pass table also contains the discrepant or the incorrect records and the fail table now contains those records which are wrong or which do not comply to the rule that I have specified. So as you can see, the DI error action has a value B. In the first case, when you have selected sent to fail, it had the value as F. F means the record has only moved to fail table. B means the record has now moved to both the tables. Both means pass as well as fail. Now I'll be specifying one more rule. Postal check. So I have specified a rule for the column postal check with the condition as match pattern. So this will match a specific set of pattern that is coming from the source. Let me explain. Inside my validation transform, I have specified the match pattern value as 4 times 999 9, 9, or 4 times 9. So does this comply to 4 times 9? No. That means it is a wrong record. This is a correct record. This is again a wrong. This is again incorrect record. This has three, three values, 4 triple, four double one. So that means it is also a wrong record. So ideally, let us check what is the correct record or what are the correct data. But before that, I would like to change the condition. I would like to change the condition as it should not be sent to both. Ideally, I will make it as sent to fail. I am doing it just to avoid the confusion. As you can see, I have specified two rules on two different fields. So, I have to pick on name and postal code. Now, I will execute the job. Cool, the job has been completed. Let us check the data. Pass. Only one record has been moved to the pass table. Why? Because this 1, 2, 3, 4 complies with the pattern 9999, nine, nine, nine. that is 4 times 9. The rest, any of the record does not comply with the rules that I have specified. So that means it works, it checks both the rules. If any of the rule fails, then the record is moved to the field table. Let us check the fail table. 
so this rule ideally gets passed or it should move to the pass table but it has failed it has moved to the fail table why because the postal condition has failed and now the same rule violation now i'll help you with i'll teach you what is the connection between or how you can establish the connection between the fail record and the rule violation see this is the row id row id number 1 row id number 1 the rule name name underscore check has been failed for the column name so now you identify what you want to identify what was the particular row that has failed so using this row id this is the connection between these two tables see this is the row id one now you can check this was a validation row field and this was the row complete row that has been failed similarly the rule number 1 has also failed for the postal check why the postal check condition was four times nine Here it is around four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, somewhat eight. So this has also failed. So that means two rules have failed. Uh, let me take another example. Number two, rule number one. At the rate this passed, this should get passed, and the record should move to the pass table. But ideally, this didn't happen because the postal code rule failed. this was just a glimpse of validation transformation i hope this video has helped you to understand the concepts of validation transformation thanks for watching